Hey everyone, and welcome to my webinar on how we can use AI to reduce friction in the DevOps day-to-day -day activity. My name is Eran Bibi. I'm the co-founder and chief product officer at Firefly. In Firefly, we are helping teams to control their cloud by automatically convert their cloud into IAC. Before that, I was the head of DevOps and SaaS platform at Aqua Security, and I'm doing DevOps for over 10 years. I really like to learn new technologies such as AI and then explain them to others. In three years time, AI will be taking over the world. Just before that, let's try to have some fun with it. So what is the first thing come to your mind where we are asking what AI is capable of? You got it right. AI can create amazing images. And this is exactly what we did at Firefly. We ask AI how our beloved tools in the DevOps ecosystem will look like if they were human. So here we have Jenkins, Crossplane, GitLab, and Argo CDs look as human. The results are pretty amazing. If you like it, we have 20 more and we publish the results in our blog so you can just scan the QR code and see all of the other tools. So what else? It can generate images, but it can also write marketing emails. It can write blogs. It can plan our next vacation and in, it even can create the ingredients of our beloved dish that I would like to cook this evening. But what makes it more fascinating is that AI can generate code. And if we are taking this amazing capability and incorporate it with the DevOps day-to-day -day work, we can find some very nice use cases that we can leverage AI for our behalf. So AI can generate IAC templates. It can do Terraform cloud formation and even imperative languages like Pulumi. It can also create configuration files like Docker, also Kubernetes manifest. If I'm using my uh, pipeline that is described as code, it can generate pipeline for you. For example, Jenkins files and GitHub action. It can also generate policies, shell scripts, Python utilities. It can build the uh, uh, your command line. If, for example, I have some complex kubectl command that I would like to have, I don't need to use any cheat sheet or documentation. I can just ask it from JetGPT. I will get the command line built for me. I can also create a complex queries to get uh, data from my Elastic, Mongo, MySQL, or any other database. So let's see some example. I went to ChatGPT and asked for Docker file for my Node.js. I also mentioned that I would like to have it secured. So I see the baseline image is based on Alpine, which is great. It's secure and minimal. Another example, I asked for a MongoDB deployment, uh, getting a Kubernetes manifest for it. So if I'm getting a response, that is not identical to what I'm looking for, I can use the chat to reiterate. So I can ask for a specific thing. For example, if I would like a different number of replicas, I can just ask it uh, and get a different result and minimize the scope to get an accurate uh, response from ChatGPT. I can also ask for policy, if I'm using a policy as code, uh, framework like OPA, I can ask for policy to enforce that I have a readiness probe on all of my Kubernetes deployment. And of course, I can take this policy snapshot and put it in a gatekeeper or other system that will make sure everything that I'm putting in my cluster will be according to my policies. So ChatGPT is an amazing tool. It can generate code manifest scripts, whatever you are asking for, but then you need to copy it and paste it to make sure it's working. And it's not that convenient to work with brow browser-based solution. 
And this is exactly why we introduced open source project called AIAC. So AIAC is a CLI. You can install it locally on, in your Mac or remotely in your uh, one of your Linux uh, 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 VMs. And then you can basically prompt the AI to get responses back to your local machine and save it directly on your local disk. So this is very convenient and very easy to use. And you can also have uh, an automation flow around it because everything is done with the command line. So let's go back to the use cases. You can ask AIAC to generate Terraform code. You can ask for it for configuration files like templates, CICD pipelines, and all of the stuff that I already mentioned, everything directly from your command line, which is pretty awesome. So let's see exactly how it's look like. So in my terminal, I already have AIC installed. Now I will ask AIC to generate Jenkins pipeline for me. So I'm going to do like AIC get Jenkins pipeline to build node app. It will take a few seconds uh, uh, for it to generate it. Let's see what are the results. So I have a very basic uh, uh, groovy template here. There is few stages, the checkout, getting the source code, the build, test and deploy. And of course, if I'm not pleased from the results that I just get, I can put R, which is retry. Let's see if I'm getting different results. Great, now I get another type of pipeline, which is uh, Jenkins declarative. Uh, you can see here, I have the environment, the stages are in a block of stages. Seems something, let's assume, are pretty um, satisfied from that result. What I can do is just put save, give the name of the file or the full path, Gen okay i have jenkins file here locally in my computer i can see this is exactly what i got and this is amazing and of course you can have aic working with a non-interactive mode using the flags so you can mention the path uh, uh, directly from the command line and it will automatically save it without uh, uh, interacting with the user. Let's see another example. AIC get kubectl command to spin up and genix up. So in this case, I would like, uh, I don't remember uh, the command uh, syntax for getting a quick and dirty, let's say, an Nginx application running in my cluster. So I'm asking ChatGPT to prompt it to prompt it to me, and within a few seconds, I got the command line: kubectl create deployment Nginx minus minus image. This is the flag to mention the exact image. In this case, it puts the latest image of the uh, uh, Nginx container uh, taken from Docker Hub in this case. So this just few examples of how you can use AIAC in your day-to-day. -day. And of course, I'm going back um, to explain more about AIC and how to get it. So AIC.dev, this is the place uh, to uh, uh, to collaborate with AIC. And of course we are based on GitHub. So we have almost uh, 20,000, uh, um, 2,000 stars in the project. 
and feel free uh, to PR any kind of changes and comment. And we are uh, the next version of AIC will use the new um, chat GPT API that was introduced last week. So we are looking for uh, for that release. We will add few more capabilities to have more chat based like interaction to AIC. So this is something uh, uh, coming very soon in the upcoming game, uh, uh, upcoming uh, days. Feel free uh, to use that. And thank you. Hope it will be, um, this session was useful for you. Take care.